Welcome to Electro Online, and here we have a third look at a triad. In this case, we're going to take the cube representing the 27 components and slice it from front to back. And since the slices from front to back represent the pages, we are slicing the pages, page one, page two, page three. If you glue them together front to back like this, you have a cube with 27 components. Notice a change here, instead of using X, Y, Z, I've used one, two, three. Again, that represents the exact same thing. One represents X, two represents Y, and three represents Z. And then also notice I did not fill out the third slice so we can do it together, so we can see how that works. First of all, the index, the first index, from top to bottom represents the rows, row one, row two, row three. The index, the second index from left to right represents the columns, column one, column two, column three. And then the third index represents the front to back, page one, page two, page three. And so the third index should all be ones over here, all twos over there, and then all threes over there. So how do we fill out the index? Well, we start from top to bottom. The first one, the three at the top get a one, the three at the in the middle get a two and the three at the bottom get a three so we start with that so the top three we have a one 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 two 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 three 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 that would x y z or one two three then we go from left to right so the second index the first three get a one the second three get a two the third three get a three so that becomes one 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 two 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 and three three Three. That's a poor looking two. There we go. And now we have the page, the third page. Since this is now the third page from front to back, the third index, all of them should get a three. So that makes that easy. Three, 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 and three, three, three. Here again, we have the third element with all threes, the second element here with all twos, the first element with all ones. So across the diagonal from the top, the front, top left corner to the back bottom rear corner we have the diagonal line where the indices are the same three ones three twos and three threes and of course those represent something special especially when we're dealing with uh, stress tensors we know that that's the direction that's perpendicular to the surface and then we have the shear stresses that are all in different directions along the surface of the object but we'll get into that when we see some examples of how to apply this to a stress tensor but anyway, at this point, we have a representation that hopefully gives you a good idea of how the subscripts work when we're dealing with a triad. Now, of course, we need to learn the rules of how to manipulate the different tensors of different sizes, and then we'll go ahead and see some very practical examples to see how we're going to use all of these. But stay tuned. We have many more videos to come.